going on guys, it's Reese here, part of the Rating Chimpanzees, and today I'm going to be doing a, a critical overview, so to speak, of Infinite Warfare. I did do a mini review on it, um, like, a little while back, at the end of last weekend. Now the beta's over for this game, I just wanted to express my opinion on it, and um, you'll probably be very surprised to hear my opinion on this, but I don't particularly like this game. Uh, yeah, um, so, basically, don't get me wrong, fundamentally game plays well uh, it's very smooth I like the motion blur it, the frame rate is smooth the gameplay is smooth I hardly got any lag except when I streamed but that was that was primarily my fault um, the gun balance is generally quite good um, I still think the FHR and the MV4 is overpowered um, I still think the RPR Evo is still also overpowered I think some of the variants are a bit stupid as well um, yeah fundamentally a good game however it is flawed and the flaws turn this into a mediocre game for me and what I don't get as well is this it's just there's nothing new in this game for me it's just boring it is just boring doesn't mean that doesn't make it a bad game but to me it's boring it doesn't it feels different to Black Ops yes but because it's got pretty much the exact same movement it feels different it just feels like this sorry it doesn't feel different it feels pretty much the same to me I just, it's frustrating because I wanted this game to be like really good, and I'm pr I'm sure it's a good I could, I'm sure it can be a good game, but they do need to change some stuff in this game. I'm going to explain some stuff that I think is overpowered in this today, and I also going to explain some stuff I think is underpowered. Right, so one of the main things that I think is overpowered is the Reaper. That he's like that the Reaper ability is just so annoying, like and so it is overpowered. It's so easy to use, and yeah, you have the same amount of health, and you can get killed so. Like it's it's hard to kill you. The speed you move at, um, what well, as well the claw, that is that can it is a bit of a spray gun. But that claw is overpowered. I'm sorry, it just is. Um, what else is there? I'm trying to think. The steel dragon, completely underpowered. The steel dragon is not a good ability. It's not a good weapon whatsoever. Like I'm sorry, it is not a good payload. I it does not play well. That that honestly, the steel dragon is so hard to use as well. Um, the Ballista EM3, really not a good gun, but if they're going to sort this out, then it, it like, li literally, the Ballista EM3 has the potential to be so good, but of course they have to put such a, if they just put iron sights on it, that would make it a better uh, payload, trust me, like it genuinely would. I'm sorry that I have to have this rant about this game, but honestly, I've got some really major concerns with this game, there's, there are some stuff that's overpowered, and there's just some stuff that doesn't play well. The, um, I'm trying to think now, the Scorchers, completely underpowered. It's just completely, honestly, they need to sort that out. The, uh, don't get me wrong, the Scarab, very good. I actually like the Scarab, that is a very fun score streak. Um, I actually plays well for the amount of points it is. The, um, the Warden, that needs to be uh, buffed, that's underpowered as well. So it, it doesn't seem, it seems like either it's something underpowered or overpowered. There's nothing like in between for me. The only, gun, the only guns that I think that are in between, to be honest, I don't know, I'm trying to think now. The Type 2, that's an alright, that's a good gun, but that's not overpowered. I like the Type 2. The MV4, I did say it was overpowered, but I guess it's just strong. It's not overpowered, because it's got some downfalls. It's like the ICR. I really like the ICR. Um, the, uh, what's it called? The ERAD. Also a good gun. Not overpowered, though. But yeah, I, just, I, I feel like there's something missing from this game. Don't get me wrong, it's fundamentally good, but it's, it's just the same, if you know what I mean. It's just a shame, because it, to me, it just feels so similar. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it, it plays different. And all the guns are different, but the movement is the same, and because of that, I just, it just doesn't feel like much has changed in this game. It's a really big shame, because it, it, I just, uh, it's just something about it that I just don't like that much. Don't get me wrong, I can't wait for zombies, and of course I'm going to be playing it when the full game comes out, because obviously I'm, I'm, as, as a runner of a YouTube channel, I have to bring you good content, guys, and, I, and I'm excited to bring it to you. But I, honestly, I'm more, I'm a lot more excited for Modern Warfare Remastered, like seriously, like the multiplayer on that. I just... The dexterity is overpowered. Like that perk is just so overpowered. The one that makes you reload and switch weapons faster. Trust me, that is an overpowered perk. Um, oh, it's just a shame, guys. I just, to me, it's just not complete at the moment. I mean, obviously, that makes sense. It's a beta, but as in like the fact that I just feel like it, there's something missing from this game. The gun variants as well. Like some of them. What is? I'm trying to think of um, the uh, the molar. I'm uh, trying to think. I think that's one of the ones that has this. Uh, the Maul LMG, the, uh, the epic version, has double damage. Double damage. 
And yeah, it has a slower fire rate, but I bet it's not that much slower. It'd still be faster, I don't know, than say something like the Gorgon. The Gorgon is like a two-shot kill, I bet, and that probably, it probably is a two or three-shot kill now, the more low, with the double damage. I, try, I can't, I can't show you the exact shot to kill, so I didn't really use it. But, yeah, I, I got to rank 34 in the beta, right? I, I didn't even play it yesterday, because literally, I got back into Black Ops 3 multiplayer yesterday, uh, uh, today even, I played it this morning. I actually miss that game a lot, and like, I'm going to be doing an overview of Black Ops 3 for, it's been such a great year for that, like, as a whole, but, yeah, I'm... I don't know, it's just something missing for this game, guys. I just don't know how to explain it. This is my opinion, of course. Feel free to disagree with me. Um, fundamentally, it's good. Graphics are very nice. It, it's smooth, motion blur's good, and the movement system is good. It just feels like it's just a little bit boring. It's just... Something's not... Like I said, there's something not quite there. I don't understand how to explain it to you guys. It's just hard... But it's just for me, this game is just a little bit boring. And this is and this is only after the beta. It, it's not a good thing that I'm bored of the game after the beta, guys. Like that that shouldn't be the case. But yeah, I'm I'm out of here, guys. I just got I just wanted to get my point across. It is a bit of a boring game, you know. Nothing's really changed. Because uh, I'm going to be doing this. Isn't really an in-depth uh, like guide because I probably will put it in the in-depth section. But this isn't really an in-depth guide because I haven't really gone into too much detail about anything. But yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on my next video. I will be uploading again today. I'm going to be doing uh, maybe a review of Black Ops 3 throughout the whole year, but that might not be just yet. I am planning on getting that mini touch done as well at some point. That's going to take a lot of editing, though. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later, guys. Peace out.